Hi guys. Spotted these six flying spinners with launcher in the 99p shop. And I just wondered if one of those rotor blades would be any good as a propeller for my electric powered plane. Because I think this propeller that I put on there that came from a toy helicopter is a little bit big and the motor doesn't spin up very fast. Whereas that looks a bit lighter. That looks to me like the hole in there is exactly the right size. Although it may be a bit off centre. Oh, that one's stuck on there well. Yep, that's a straight fit on there. Nice and tight. I might trim the ring off the outside. Slight change. You may notice I've got a different receiver on there. That other one was playing up. I said when I started it was a 40 one, or at least it didn't like my transmitters. So I've just ripped apart another toy car. I've even taken the motor out of the toy car as well. Looks about the same as the one I was using before. But we'll see, see if that can give us any thrust. Well, it still doesn't look very promising, but I will cut the ring off the outside so there's a bit less mass. See if it spins a bit faster, gives us a bit more thrust. I really think we're getting exactly the same flight whether I've got the motor running or not. Well guys, I've tried three different propellers and we're not getting anything really. At the very most we're getting a slightly assisted glide. But it goes just as far whether the motor's running or not. So I think you're wasting your time trying it. If you really want to try it, you'll have to find some good propellers. wings need to be about that sort of size because they need the lift to be able to pick up the weight. You could try a smaller one if you can make it lighter. But I think that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm home now but while I was driving home I had several thoughts on how we might actually be able to get this plane to fly. So I'm going to add this voiceover to the summary that I did out in the field. Now, obviously we could put a more powerful motor on it, but the point of this project was to try and use the cheap motors that I get from vibrating toothbrushes or similar electrical appliances from the bargain store, or even the motors out of the radio-controlled cars I pick up in the charity shops. Now, the way I've got it set up at the moment it's not powerful enough. 
I'm probably not being fair to the motor because I'm using a LiPo battery which is 3.7 volts and the toy car that this particular motor came out of would have had three AA batteries so it would have had 4.5 volts so it's not getting quite as much voltage as it would be normally getting I can't really put three AA batteries on the plane because that would be too heavy so I could try and put two LiPo batteries together and give it 7.4 volts that would make the motor spin up pretty fast but it might burn out the receiver because the receiver is only expecting 4.5 volts and if I give it 7.4 volts then that may well overheat it and burn it out so I'm not quite sure where to go here I think I'm wasting my time but I can see it's nearly flying clearly it's gliding okay but it, it needs a little bit more power to get it to actually lift so I think I'm gonna give it a rest but if anybody else wants to have a go feel free I think it might be possible but you're going to have to get the weight of the plane just right, the size just right so it's got enough lifting area to be able to carry the weight of the motors and the batteries and those motors just don't have very much power as they are. So don't bother putting comments on that say put a more powerful motor on there that's not the object of the exercise. The object of this exercise was to use those cheap motors and see if we could get it to fly. That's it. Job done.